Oops. What's up, guys? This is Ty Sasson, and welcome back to another episode. It is episode six, and last time we built our first iron farm. It's right over there. Looks magnificent. And we also built a villager breeder, which is somewhere over there in the desert. Yep, actually, you can see it. Perfect. And uh, yeah, in between episodes, I've done a lot. Uh, a lot of little things. I populated this first villager breeder with some villagers, or iron farm, I should say, with some villagers, uh, after doing quite a bit of moving of villagers and water elevators and all sorts of things. Uh, in the meantime, I also uh, doubled the size of our, our villager breeder over there in the desert and built a very large uh, potato farm. Uh, very large. <laughs> I can't wait till I can automate these things. Um, we also built a second farm uh, right here, right right next to me, and populated it with villagers just a couple minutes ago. And I uh, kind of want to head down and real quick see if we've got ourselves any iron. So uh, today we have a few things to do. And the first thing that we're going to do, uh, let me just get over here. First thing that we're going to do is uh, build some more iron farms. Not yet. It should start doing that anytime now. So yeah, let's... Uh, Let's let's get over to that, and we're done. And uh, I hate villagers. And let's uh, let's move on to something else. And by something else, I mean getting more wings. I'm I'm out. And well, I'm not out. I have three, and they're all they're all busted. So I'm gonna run out, do a little bit of running around here in the end. I am I have no rockets. I have no wings. So we're gonna do it the old-fashioned way, but I need to get a couple of sets. So uh, I'm gonna work on that real quick and uh, I'll be right back. All right, we're good to go there. So let's let's get back to the overworld. Oh, that was convenient. Um, I, I picked up a few sets of wings, um, just a few more. And then uh, I picked up a bunch of other random goodies, a whole bunch of shulker shells. So. Uh, it's amazing how and city ratings kind of a time sink so uh, we're back though so a good start to the episode uh, a bad start to the episode a good start I'm not sure what's going on here guys uh, how many times have I told you you can't stand up there hmm so I, I was a little worried about this and it looks like that that uh, concern has come true here so uh, let's take a look at the other ones. Yeah, nothing over there. I still, I, I managed to leave some cleanup for myself here. I was trying to, you know, do that as I went. So nothing over there, nothing over there. Uh, it looks like we're okay except for this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start some glass smelting then because this is uh, a problem that we definitely want to fix. So, yeah, let me... See if I can't find some sand. Uh, I thought I had some around here somewhere. Bingo. So let's uh, let's smelt a bunch of sand. What I think I'll do to fix this is just maybe. Ah, no, I was gonna say I'm gonna put a tube right here at the top to kind of aim them in there. But I think it's just gonna be better to at least provide a, a guide, maybe. Uh, at least one strip of glass on each of the sides will keep them in there. So uh, let's go ahead and oh, I was smelting some glass as well. That's great. I uh, got a decent amount of sand from uh, putting, I thought I grabbed five stacks from putting uh, uh, that, that one, uh, the far, putting the farm together, excuse me. So um, what we're going to do next, and probably going to be most of the actual episode here, uh, although I've spent a, a lot of time already this episode, I you know I didn't want to repeat some of the things that we've already done, so I thought I would just get them done. Um, first thing, first things first. Uh, there's a lot of cleanup to do. There's holes over here and holes over here. There's these dirt pillars and yeah, got a lot to clean up. So let me let me get that done real quick, and then we'll uh, we'll work on these tubes for these uh, iron iron golems and then I've got uh, one one big project to do today well just a few more blocks here and we've got our uh, glass tubes complete 
Um, I think ultimately these will go away because when we build, you know, as I mentioned last episode, we're going to build one of these under each of the, uh, the farms. We're going to build another one at 15. So once we get to the point where, you know, we're building that, which I'm, I'm not going to do probably anytime soon, um, this will hopefully all be covered at some point. So, but for now that will do, um, I've taken down all of my ladders and rails and everything else. So, uh, we're looking very cleaned up here. So happy to, uh, to see it. I, I don't know about you guys, but you know, I, I have a tendency to do this when I, when I've making big projects, I'll, I'll take a bunch of scaffolding and, you know, all sorts of other stuff and I'll end up leaving it there for a while. And I always regret it. I, I don't really want to do that. So, um, yeah, I have extra signs. You can go in here and yeah, let's, let's move on to the, uh, the the meat and potatoes of today's episode, which is going to be a storage system for our iron farms. So we have the four iron farms here, and basically what I'd like to do is actually lower the the killing chamber where this lava is at, lower that down into the earth so that we just have you know golems falling. There's one right now, golems falling down, and then basically I'd like to transport their items. Get out of here. Um, I like to transport their items down into here. So uh, I think eventually I'll have four beacons, which is why this is in the corner. But I'd like to go down several blocks and uh, basically create an area where we can have some storage. And I've been thinking a little bit about how we're going to get down here. Um, I had kind of mentioned last episode that maybe we would actually have a uh, um, a hole right here that we would just jump down into. But I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a couple of storage uh, areas down here, one for iron and one for another farm or I guess really farms that I'm going to end up putting in spawn. So what we'll do is we'll go down a few blocks. And then I think in the end, what we'll do is somewhere around here and each of the corners will have some type of, um, elevator or something of that sort, which uh, I have a couple designs that I'm, I'm thinking about. So we'll, we'll be able to kind of drop down that and come back up uh, through, through a hole in the floor right here. Uh, or we could, you know, attempt the jump as well. But I think this area in the middle will end up fairly open. So uh, that's kind of my plan. Let me, let me get some, some area cleared out here. We're going to need a decent size area and we'll, uh, we'll start the process of, of building out a storage area. All right, so I've got the room dug out and we're just a, a few blocks underneath the surface here, which I think is gonna be uh, probably just enough. Maybe I might need to go one more block up, but I think that's gonna be fine. So uh, I wanted to show you really quickly kind of what we're gonna be doing in here. I think I'll probably uh, end up leaving the design to next episode because it's gonna take me a little while with uh, collecting resources and all of that. So, but basically on each wall here, we're gonna have uh, a big, wall of chests here. So uh, I think I'm actually going to go not five wide, but six wide. So there'll be a, a chest under there as well uh, with a stair here so that you can easily access it. And uh, I was going to do uh, a redstone lamp here at the top just to show whether or not this, this column's full. And it's actually somewhat easy to do. Basically, if this was a hopper right here, you take a comparator output from that. And uh, when it fills up enough to you know push the signal back to the uh, lamp, then it'll turn on and otherwise it, it won't. So once this backs all the way up and all the hoppers are backed up as well, that top hopper that's going into this chest will, uh, will put out that signal. But the thing is, is that in order to do it, I need a, a, a lot of resources and it's not that exciting of a feature. So I, I'm going to leave it out for now. Um, I might put it in again later, but the other thing is, is that <clears throat> in order to, in order to, to go over the hopper, you, you kind of have to you know, bring the signal up and it might dig into the, the ceiling and I'm not sure if I have enough room. So mm, I, I probably will skip it. But for now, what we need to do is we need to bring the items from the iron golem farms into the storage room. So I think uh, for this episode, I'll probably try to get as many chests put together as I can. I've got, what, eight more in my inventory right now, but we're, uh, 
we're going to need a lot more than that because uh, you got a big row going this way, a big going that way, all, all around. So I've already dug out uh, the back here. I'm going to end up probably putting black concrete or something of that sort back here. So that way, when you are looking through the chests, you know, you won't see stone and whatever else is back here. Um, so I dug out this this uh, this block just so that I could do that. But then otherwise, it's going to be, you know, hoppers and no more room back here. I, I don't plan to ever need to come back here at all uh, out, outside of the original build. So we're good there. So I think what we're going to do, um, I thought a lot about this. I think what we're going to do is we're going to have uh, an escape route in each corner. And then in this corner here, I want to actually be able to see the, the items coming up. So we're going to kind of take out this area here and actually based on where the chests are, there's going to be like a, you know, an entrance right here about, and you'll walk in and you'll be able to see the item elevator and the items going up and then they'll hit the hopper chain. They'll go around, hit all these chests and eventually go all the way around. So uh, maybe pretty excessive, but the thing is, is this is going to be running all the time and I, I, I do play in this world quite a bit. So, you know, if I'm in the overworld, this thing's, uh, these iron farms are going to be loaded and hopefully filling up these chests. And of course, once we add those additional ones and, you know, maybe someday add some uh, above them as well, it's kind of the advantage to this design is if I want more, I can just go ahead and add more above it. And that's at 85. So there's room for, I believe, three more above that. So um, basically what we need to do next is we need to get these tubes down and get get them to a spot where we can actually uh, basically bring the items back up. So uh, I'm going to have to do some digging and kind of find some coordinates as to where the item elevator is going to be. And then um, I'm going to move the killing chambers down to the bottom. Uh, so that way when we do build a second one of these underground, uh, those iron golems will you know fall all the way straight through to a single area where the, the items will be collected and then dispensed into water streams and then pushed over to uh, it's going to be this corner somewhere over here and the item elevator will bring it up. So yeah, let me, uh, let me get some coordinates here on where all that's going to happen. And then we'll, uh, we'll get to digging. So the tunnels are dug. Um, I did discover something that makes me very angry, uh, which I'll show you right now. As soon as I get down to the bottom here, um, we'll take a look, but, uh, I have everything done, but I, I realize we need, we need a resource that I have yet to tap into, which is some ice. Um, you might notice this tunnel is, uh, two blocks to the left of this hole. That is where the iron farm is. That's because this iron farm is in the wrong location. Hoorah. So I'm going to have to fix that someday. Um, not sure when I'm going to do that. <laughs> At some point, I'm going to have to do it. Uh, I'm looking for 257 here. So we're going to have to run and, and find some ice. I happen to know, uh, based on kind of when I was looking up the, uh, the seed, that there is uh, an ice plains biome, I think, to the west of us. But if I recall, it's pretty far away. So we're going to have to go find that or another ice spikes biome um, or find just some ice. Um, I've also dug my hole in the wrong place, apparently. 273, 257. Nope, I dug it in the wrong place in the first place. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of coordinates issues. Uh, let's, let's go find some ice. We've located the ice and mined out a bunch of it. Lots of ice. I don't, I don't know about you. This is probably my favorite thing to mine <laughs> in this game. I rather enjoy it. Can I get over here? Oh, there's a ghost block in my way. Um, well, we'll make our way out of here. Uh, I've I've already done quite a bit of work on this here ice spikes biome. Um, all of this area here, and uh, yeah, get get them out. We've got almost two shulker boxes full of uh, of the uh, packed ice, and a couple other things that have happened. I've I've put in another portal. We are currently very far away from home. Um, 
8,000 blocks away from home. Um, also found some spruce trees, which is really important. That's going to be uh, useful for next episode. But more importantly is I've got some spruce saplings, and I'm pretty excited about that because that's what I like to make chests out of. It's really easy to get a lot of wood with uh, two by two spruce trees. Uh, like I said, I've got two shulker boxes almost full of ice. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to finish uh, filling this guy, and I'm going to get uh, a little bit of spruce wood, not a ton, just enough to grab some uh, some saplings. And yeah, and then we'll be on our way back to spawn to, uh, to work on those uh, item transfer water stream type of deals. Um, this is a pretty good uh, biome we got here. Looks like it goes pretty far out that way. I haven't checked up there, but I, I'm guessing it goes fairly far this direction too. Uh, yeah, it looks very ice spiky here. So there is plenty of resources to be had. I, I, uh, I'm happy to have located one of these and set up another tunnel to it because this is, this is a, a very key place for me. Interesting times digging out that nether tunnel. Uh, I, I did, however, pick up a few things. Uh, I think it's in here. Yeah, got some gas tears, and more importantly is I have 10 gunpowder, which is amazing. Uh, hello. Goodbye. Um, I, I have currently three rockets to my name that I've been holding on to very closely, so uh, I'll be able to make some more rockets, which is really great. So uh, now what we need to do is find, I have a shulker box that has stone slabs in it. Of course, it's right here. So let's grab that. And I think I think we'll start over here. Basically, I want to show you really quickly, and then I'll, I'll start working on it. I'm going to show you really quickly what we're going to do. So let's get up here. I think this is the one I have my pillar on. I guess not. So we'll hopefully fall down here without dying. That's a really deep hole. All right. Yep. Almost there. Ouch. All right. So what we're going to do is right here, we're going to have uh, hoppers, which actually I think they'll be up here. We're up there, actually. And then we'll have a dropper underneath that with a little uh, uh, dropper clock that will shoot that uh, those iron and, and everything into this area right here, which is where the water stream is going to be. So <clears throat> I'm actually going to start the water stream here at this height. I dug out to five, and I, I regret doing that. So we're going to start at this height. Uh, in fact, I might even raise it up a little bit more than that. But this is going to go all the way over here. And of course, it'll come from the other side as well. And then down this tunnel that I dug, um, we'll have another ice path, which I've got to light that up. But down this tunnel, uh, eventually, we'll reach 257 by 273, which is right here. So right here, we'll have a dropper that's actually shooting up to exactly where we want it to be in our storage room. So uh, I'll have a, a, a basically a dropper elevator going up there, and uh, then it'll go into a hopper chain and into our chests. So let me go ahead and work out uh, what level I want this to be on. I think I actually want it to be one level higher than this. And uh, I'll get this all in, and then I'll show you uh, kind of what we're going to do uh, with the water streams and everything uh, set up. Water streams are in, and we've also moved this down. I, I uh, put down a platform, a killing platform here, and the lava, you can't, of course, see through it, but I uh, removed the hoppers up there, so we may, maybe we'll get surprised by an iron golem while we're down here. But uh, in the meantime, I've got a little hopper chain. You can kind of see the little arrows here. They go into uh, these hoppers here and into the dropper, and then these two are just there for lag control. Um, little circuit there to, to make this guy go. And uh, if we toss some stuff in here real quick, you'll see those will come out the dropper. And the nice thing with this particular circuit is if you put a whole bunch in there, like say the dropper gets backed up for some odd reason, they'll still come out uh, and not stop. So uh, I also made these three wide. The reason why is I, I don't trust that items won't get stuck in a block or something like that. So this gives it plenty of room. No items will get stuck. And then, you know, if similar items get stuck in that same block. They'll stack and then they'll despawn. So uh, item stream goes all the way down here, all packed ice. So it'll go nice and quickly. Looks like we got a ghost block. And uh, off that goes. <laughs> and uh, it comes from that way too. I haven't set up that one quite yet. But uh, then it falls into here and travels down to our spot that we want to shoot the items up and 
Oh, look at that. We get some iron over here, too. Uh, I'm not going to pick that up, apparently. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it comes down here, and we're going to, real quick, we'll build this circuit uh, together. And I feel like I need something else, but I can't remember what it is. So this should be our spot, 257 by 273. That's right. So from here, we'll put in a comparator, a block, redstone, um, a block, another block there, redstone, a block, redstone, and then we need a repeater and some redstone, and that's it. So basically what will happen is we will have, we'll cover that for now, we'll have water coming in from both sides, and right here, those items will go into the dropper via this hopper chain, and of course, right now they're they're angry and just going back inside of it because it's not complete. But if we do that, they'll end up at the top there. So what we're going to do next is block this off just like that. And we'll build it out like this. And I actually came down this route just to make sure here. So we'll close this off just like this. And then we will hop our way back up here. And then we'll test it out. All right, and we're all the way up. So from here, uh, it's nighttime. So let's go right here and sleep real quick. And then we can quickly test this guy out. So the only problem with testing it out, I realize, is there's, there's lava uh, in between us and the hoppers down there. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, what to do about that? I suppose we could wait until a golem spawns. Or alternatively... Alright, what we'll do is we'll fall down here. Alright, we'll have to do some testing from this side. So I've got some redstone items, things that iron golems most certainly do not drop. And let's make our way back up. And those should end up right on the floor in our storage room, so long as I've done everything correctly. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. So right over here. And I'll, uh, I'll connect up the other uh, item stream here shortly. Hey, look at that. So all of our items did end up right here, and I'm actually going to continue this item elevator up so that it'll go into a hopper chain into our chests. So that's kind of the idea for now. Uh, what I'll do in the meantime is I will take a hopper like that. I'll just make a little cross right here, and let me get some light back over here so that nothing spawns. And I actually want that to go there and we'll stick a chest right here because I don't I don't want to lose any items whatsoever at this point so there we go that's uh that's safe so we can toss stuff in there of course it'll end up in the chest so yeah I think uh, I think it's about it for today guys so uh, a lot a lot of stuff done a little bit of delays with the ice and all that but uh, a lot of stuff done. I, I think next time we'll finish out this storage room and then, you know, if we have enough time, I think we'll uh, we'll move on to maybe a, another project. But I've got a little bit of a design in mind. I'd love to hear if you have any ideas for this area. So, of course, it's not going to look like this at all by the end of the episode. But um, in the meantime, I think I'll get the uh, other two farms hooked up to our item stream so that way we can uh, get this... Uh, hopper chain working with all the chests and start racking up the uh, the iron so uh, But yeah, let me know if you've got any ideas for that storage room. I I uh, I'm not much of a designer. So anything that you have would be really uh, very much appreciated <laughs> But guys in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the episode if you did leave it a like like buttons down at the bottom there and uh, If you haven't subscribed already go ahead and subscribe man. We've got tons of stuff coming up and uh, lots more plans for the series. So if you're enjoying it, love to love to hear uh, your feedback and love to see you hang out and watch some more. Uh, but yeah, for, for now, that'll be about it for today. Uh, this has been Ty Sasson, and I'll see you in the next episode.
Meanwhile, across town, in this less than fashionable cubbyhole of the San Francisco Examiner, these editors are programming today's copy of the paper into that same Ohio computer.